Man, I'm glad that you're here. I finished my DIY yesterday so I can attest to its coolness and also its easiness. This is gonna be a good one. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm so glad you found me. My name's Orly, this is the DIY designer. I do DIY fashion and home decor and I'm just completely obsessed with making everything one of a kind. I don't believe there really is such a thing as good style. I think there's just personal style and DIY is just such an amazing way to get your own personal style rocking. Lately, just been super into the like free people urban vibe. There's something so like artsy about it and like everything kind of feels handmade and everything feels like it was a DIY, which is great for me because I then can DIY it. So I saw these pants at Free People and I loved textured doily-ish material on the pants. Same color, but just texture. I went to my local thrift store. There's a Valley Value Thrift in LA that I love. If you live in LA, I highly recommend checking it out. It's huge. You'll see me there like three days a week. Um, it's, it's the best. And I went over to, they have like a whole rack of tablecloths. So I went over to the tablecloth section and I found this epic, ginormous, like doily, cotton embroidered circular tablecloth thing. So beautiful. So then I took that with me and walked down the pant aisle and I literally could not believe my luck. I found the most perfect pants. They're jeans, high-waisted with like little pleats in the front. Fit me perfectly. The bottom is sort of tapered, which I didn't love. So I thought, ooh, I could turn it into like really cool wide leg pants with this fabric as the like contrast. It would be so cool. It's totally no sew. I end up reinforcing it with a stitch, which I show you how, but if you don't know how to sew, you can absolutely do this one. Then I ended up with all this extra fabric because the tablecloth was so freaking huge that I made a really cool top. Like the easiest top you ever did see. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. You know the deal. Comment down below if you have any questions. All right, all you need to get started is a seam ripper. You're gonna wanna open up the hem of the jeans so that you can actually access the outermost seam. You're gonna start with this stitch and then you're gonna move on inside to the overlock seam. Oh my God, I opened up the inseam. You're kidding me right now. I mean, I don't freaking know how I did that. <laughs> Anyway, you're gonna open up the outer seam. Make sure you double check. So this is where I decided to start. Kind of that big stitch right at the top of the pocket is where I'm gonna open it. You're gonna take the little red bead that's on the end of your seam ripper and put that inside. That allows you to like run it through really aggressively and do like giant sections at a time without ripping your fabric. The inside though, I would use the other longer part and just do like six stitches at a time. Once you do a big section, you'll see it'll just kind of unravel. So. I opened up both sides of the outer leg and now it's time to decide how and where I wanna actually place this fabric. So I cut out a couple of rows of just the circles and I thought, do I want them exposed on the outside to show the round shape? Do I want them kind of hidden on the inside? Wasn't really sure. So I thought I would cut another piece that was actually wider, including not only these little diamond shapes in case I wanted to make the panel wider, but also this hem. I thought, ooh, the edge of the tablecloth could actually be the edge of my hem. So I'm pinning it in. Now, do you see how my jeans right now are like bubbly, like they're not crisp edges? It actually makes it really hard to pin when it's like that. So before you set it in, make sure that you press the edges. I'm filming this one-handed, so I apologize, it's kind of shaky, but you can see I'm just folding it down where the existing fold was from the way it was sewn, repressing it so that my edges are nice and crisp, and now I will pin it in. Okay, so I did one of each. It's so funny, like I want to like this side more because it looks so clean and perfect with the hem on the bottom. From the front, I, I need to make it smaller. I don't like the way that's looking from the front. I think this side's definitely better from the front. Oh my God, I'm so undecided. All right, I made a decision, but I want to show you guys something super important. When you do this, I really recommend pinning it in while it's on your body because the pants, when the leg has been opened, they have a natural way that they kind of want to fall that's going to lay flat and not pucker. So you really want to pin it looking at that natural slope and working with it. If you have fabric like mine, you're going to need to center design details and elements like the circles. But other than that, you're really just working with the shape of the pants to create a flattering slope so they look like they were always like that. This is the way I end up deciding to go. I loved it. I just kept going back to that curved bottom. And so they are pinned in, fully ready to be attached. 
So I took them off and flipped them inside out. Now you can see the full width of the panel. Now what I'm gonna do is actually fabric glue this down. So right now I'm peeling back while all of the pins are still attached and I'm adding fabric glue anywhere that there's a gap in the pins. So that almost acts as its own pin. Then once all of those little glue droplets are there, I reach my hand in and remove all of the pins and add fabric glue to those locations. That just ensures that everything is staying exactly like I pinned it. You can leave it like this. You can just say, I'm gonna fabric glue the whole thing and that's it, it's totally no sew. But even if you're gonna sew, I think that the fabric glue is a much easier way because now when I get in here and I get ready to sew, the pins aren't gonna pop open, there's gonna be no gaps, it's already basically installed and I'm just reinforcing it. Now, anytime you're sewing a pant leg and especially a panel like this, you wanna put your hand inside, put your other hand all the way inside the pant leg for two reasons. One, it's gonna make sure that that excess panel, because obviously it's quite a bit bigger than I need, is laying flat and I'm not accidentally folding it and creating like ripples and sewing on top of it. The other thing is it ensures that I don't sew through the backside of the panel. So you're just feeling that you're sewing through one layer at a time really nice and flat. Once they are sewn, flip them inside out and just cut off your excess. That's the cool thing about doing it this way. You don't need to have a perfect pattern piece. You just need to pin it in so it looks good from the outside, attach it, and then cut off the excess and it looks like you have a perfect pattern piece. It's a really great hack for creating something just like this. Now there's gonna be a lot of excess and you can use them to add little details to the pants. I decided not to. With the excess, I decided to make a top. This is the bonus top. Now this is so simple that it's almost confusing. So do you see that edging of the, um, of the tablecloth right there? That sort of lace edging right there? That's gonna be our center front and our center back. So the way I'm gonna cut this is I'm cutting a right and a left, okay? So I'm folding it in half, cut open the fold because you don't need the fold, cut it open. Right now I am at my waist, okay? So the edge is the center front. I'm at my waist and I'm cutting up towards the underarm. So I'm going from my waist all the way up that is my underarm right there. That's where I'm ending it. Now, the other side, this is the cuff of my sleeve. So it's going from the edge of my wrist all the way to the underarm. That is the pattern. Look at that. Ooh-wee. So I thought that the sleeve was a little bit wide, so I shave off a little bit. There you go. You can see it's a little bit more narrow. Now, all you need to do is sew, sew. That's it. You close it, and it's pretty much freaking done. It's so easy. It's so fun. So right now I'm pinning it together just to line up the circles. Again, if you have patterns, you wanna work with the shapes of your patterns. If you don't, you can just freely sew it. I'm using a zigzag stitch because I'm hoping it'll kind of grab a little bit more of those lacy details. Throw it back on your dress form or your body. And the only thing you need to do really is close up the back. You can leave the front open so it's kind of like a cardigan. You could put little ties, you could sew it, but the back you really do need to sew up. Now, because I decided to do a deep V in the back and it's gonna be a deep V in the front, it's just gonna fall right off my shoulders. There's nothing really holding it in place and it's so lightweight. So I grabbed a little extra tim trim and I'm just kind of creating like a little strip across the back. This is gonna hold it in the nice deep V. Again, fabric glue for now, but I do reinforce it with my sewing machine later. Last thing I have to do is just shorten everything. Everything was just too long. Sleeves were too long, body was too long. So again, I'm working within the shapes um, of this actual pattern so that everything looks really intentional and just kind of cutting along the shapes, removing basically one full circle off the entire length of everything. And that's basically it. I straightened up my edges and I'm good to go. All right, that's it. I'm gonna model these for you. I love the way they came out. Oh, heads up on next week's video. So I'm going to New York on Monday to do the Today Show. They're back in studio, I'm so excited. I tape on Tuesday and then it will air on Friday. So make sure that you guys set your DVRs, I'm really excited. But next week video will basically be like a vlog. If you guys are actually interested in some of these really cool denim DIYs that I do, I will have a little bit more of that footage in next week's video. Uh, I love you guys, thank you for being here. Enjoy the fashion show. Pay is, pay is.